Hello, welcome everyone to this journey through some of the most exciting developments in science and technology. Today, we will explore three fascinating topics, how genome mapping is transforming public health in India, how deepfakes and generative AI are changing the way we create and consume content and how blockchain is reshaping governance for a transparent future. We'll be doing it in the form of three questions. Question one, what is the role of genome mapping in improving public health? Evaluate achievements of a Genome India project. To come to genome mapping, uh, think of our DNA as a giant instruction manual for our body. Genome mapping is the process of decoding this manual, locating each gene, understanding its role, and linking it to diseases or traits. It is like finding every chapter and page in a massive book, so doctors and scientists can read it and understand what makes us who we are. That is in the simple, simple language. Why is this important for public health? Because genome mapping allows us to detect risk for diseases like diabetes, cancer, and heart problems much earlier. It enables doctors to create personalized treatment plans tailored to your unique uh, genetic code. It even predicts how your body might respond to certain medicines, avoiding unnecessary side, side effects. And in the pandemics like uh, COVID-19, genome mapping helps track how virus mutate, uh, allow faster vaccine development and better public health strategies. Genome India project. India is stepping up in this field with the Genome India project. Launched in 2020 by the Department of Bio Biotechnology and led by the Inst Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, this initiative aims to map the genomes of 10,000 Indian citizens. Over 20 research institutions are working together with a budget of 238 crore rupees, building an Indian reference genome that truly represents our country's diversity. Objectives of the Genome India project, creating a reference Indian genome, understanding genetic diversity, identifying di disease related genes, genome sequencing and analysis. Uh, so far, the project has sequenced over 7,500 genomes covering rural, urban and even uh, tribal communities. It has created India-specific genetic database, supported COVID-19 surveillance, and trained a new generation of scientists. Of course, there are challenges. The cost of sequencing, ensure data privacy, and integrating these insights into a routine healthcare. Genome mapping is a powerful tool of, for improving public health. The Genome India project is a big step in making healthcare smarter and more personal. With continued support, it can change the future of medicine in India. Coming on to the second question, discuss the application and ethical concerns associated with defects and generative AI. What regulatory frameworks are needed to address them? Next, let us turn to a technology that's both fascinating and unsettling, defects and generative AI. Defects are AI-generated videos 
images and voices that look and sound real but are entirely fake generative ai goes beyond that creating new text images music or even computer codes tools like the chat gpt dal e and midjourney are leading their way transforming how we create and consume content these technologies are everywhere for example in the entertainment and media uh, we see the creation of movies characters dubbing and realistic cgi's revive dead actors or change actors appearance in education generate custom learning material in uh, regional languages ai tutors and interactive virtual classrooms in marketing and advertising the personalized product ads using ai avatars and voices deep fakes and celebrities endorsing products with consent of course gaming and metaverse realistic game characters and ai generate storyline enhance user immersion in virtual worlds in the accessibility field text to speech tools for the visually impaired users translating speech to sign language and local dialects in the in the healthcare generate medical images for training and diagnosis create therapies and virtual assistants and in the creative industry ai writes songs poems blogs and even video scripts this speeds up the content creation and supports small creators but with a great power comes great responsibility now comes the ethical question uh in the deep fakes can create false political speeches or new clips misleading public and threatening democracy so it is Uh, spreading misinformation and fake news in the defamation and harassment fake videos of individuals used for the revenge or bullying damages personal images and mental health and even the frauds clone voices of family members or ceos for financial fraud making phone with and video uh, scams harder to detect and lack of consent use of someone's for face or voice without permission uh, which which violates privacy and dignity biases in the ai models generative ai may reflect racial gender and cultural biases can exclude the stereotype communities job displacement ai may replace writers artists and the media workers so this threat uh, this threatens creative employment now the, the regulatory for framework needed certainly it is required so for that clear definitions and laws we have to define what counts as harmful defects and ai misuse differentiate between art parody and uh, crime Uh, mandatory disclosures all the ai generated contents must carry labels or watermarks helps user identify real or fake consent requirement using a person's image or voice must need the written consent violators should face strict penalties or disciplinary action reporting and take down the system platforms must allow users to report fake content easily fast removal of deep fakes causing harm and ethical ai guidelines companies must follow fair and safe ai standards regular audits and human oversights are needed and the global collaboration the countries should work together to tackle cross border issues and create international rules and treaties so to conclude we can say the deep fakes and the generative ai are powerful tools 
they can help in learning, creativity, and communication. But they also pose real dangers if misused. Strong laws, ethics, and awareness are key to using them safely and responsibly. We move on to the next question. Question number three, analyze the emerging role of blockchain in governance. What are India's initiatives in using blockchain for, for public sector application? Blockchain, a technology that often linked to cryptocurrencies, but with far bigger potential. Blockchain is a digital ledger where every record is secure, time-stamped, and cannot be altered. It brings transparency, security, and efficiency, qualities every good governance system needs. So the blockchain can uh, uphold the desirables like the transparency, security, efficiency, trust in public, and real-time updates. Uh, for example, in the transparency, every record is visible in the blockchain and verifiable. This reduces the chances of corruption and data tampering. For the security, data is encrypted and stored across many computers. So it prevents hacking and unauthorized access. As far as the efficiency is concerned, the blockchain speeds up the processes like the record keeping, verification, and tracking, uh, which reduces the paperwork and manual errors. Trust in the public, the citizens can verify transactions like land records or subsidies. This builds uh, trust in the government processes. Real-time update data is updated instantly across the network. Useful for uh, supply chains, ID verification, and benefit transfers. As far as the applications of blockchain in governance is concerned, uh, as we've seen earlier, uh, block land records, voting, welfare delivery, supply chain tracking, education. Indian blockchain initiatives in the public sector. India has already begun. We gave out a national strategy on blockchain, which was spearheaded by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology in 2021, land records uh, in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh use blockchain for land for their land records. Karnataka uses it for the coffee bean tracking. Delhi University pilots it for certificates, and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Uh, blockchain strategy aims to expand these innovations nationwide. India also uses blockchain. Then we have a blockchain consortium. Academia is using it. Indian chain is proposed by the Niti IO. But the challenges are there, like the high cost, skilled manpower, and infrastructure gapping lack of interpretability and need for the awareness and trust. So there we have it from decoding our genes to creating digital realities and building temper proof government systems. Science and technology are defending our world. India is not just catching up. It's leading in many ways. Let's stay informed, ethical and inspired as we step into this future together. Thank you.